So just to recap where we started, we're looking at x divided by 6 plus 4 equals 15. We're trying to make that plus 4 a 0, so we subtracted 4 from both sides. I want you to notice every time I'm writing these, I'm showing my action here. Here's the original. And then do you notice I put this line? That's to show what happens after that action. So here's my new version of the equation. And if you notice, it is what that other card was, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so if we're looking for zero when we're adding and subtracting, like here, and we're looking for one when we're multiplying and dividing, that's what we need to look for here. I need to get an invisible one with that x. I need to get rid of a 6. Right now, it's x divided by 6, which you will often also see written this way. Sometimes you'll see this. This and this mean the same thing. In this case, there's an invisible one here. 1 times x divided by 6, or 1 over 6 times x. Do you see the relationship between them? But because we like leaving ones invisible where we can, this is the shortcut way of writing it. But we will often see this as well, so just know that. This is nice to picture, though, because it does give us an idea of what's really there that we need to turn into a 1. There's a 1 over 6 there, and what is the reciprocal of that? 6 over 1. So we're going to multiply both sides by 6 over 1. I get 6 times x, or 1x, 6 times 1x, and 1 times 6. That becomes 6 over 6x. Six 11 times 6 is 66. Oops, divided by 1. So there I'm showing all of it, but now I can take care of those invisibles, right? 6 over 6 is equal to 1, so it just becomes x. And 66 over 1 is 66. I did a little bit more in those steps to show you some of the invisible math than I would normally do. Ooh, that did not erase very well at all. Yuck.